All right, we back with the Boston Clinic. Good morning, boy, CJ Goodfella. Shout out to the LDBC, the YTBC, and shout out to my homies who starting the Ain't Nobody Safe Boxing Movement, my boy Correa and Money Brown. Uh, let's get into it real quick, and don't forget to look at the links in the description. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We're going to have all the platforms popping, uh, just like I do YouTube and um, and Facebook. So I'm going to get real, real uh, in-depth with, with Twitter as well. And we've been... Um, active as hell today, and we continue to be active. We squeezing this breaking news in. Keith Thurman has been, uh, has, uh, you know, given up his WBC title. He's vacated it. He will become basically the interim uh, champion. And Danny Garcia and Sean Porter has been or, or have been ordered to fight for that real full WBC title. So Keith Thurman moving out the way. The injury must have been real for him. He getting rid of that title. He's going to be the champion in waiting. So, basically, he's the interim title holder. And I thought that's what they should have did from the beginning. Um, I said I think he deserved to keep the WBA title because he set being a regular WBA. He did his five defenses. And when Floyd moved out of there, he became a super title holder. So, he he did his uh, just due in uh, earning that title. But the WBC, I felt that he should have, you know, became champion in waiting. Let Danny and Sean fight for it and fight the winner because he got to fight either or anyway. So it worked out for Sean Porter getting jumped over by Danny Garcia for number one, falling number two. So now him and Danny, Danny and Sean can get it on. It's a good fight. A lot of the fight fans want to see it. And Keith Thurman did the right thing. And he got a good deal because when he comes back, he takes a tune up, he gets healthy. Guess what? You know, he's going to be able to, you know, fight for his title right away. He's the mandatory, you know, will Danny and Sean try to play chicken with him? Yeah, but they can't because if they whoever wins that fight and Keith Thurman won his title shot, either you're going to unify with Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford, or guess what? You're going to have to fight Keith Thurman regardless. So, you know, Keith Thurman got a sweet deal because they're not going to be able to make a deal with Bob and Crawford or the Horn winner, and they don't want to fight Earl Spence. So Keith Thurman, he got them in the corner even when he comes back and he's 100% healthy. So, uh, you know, bless Keith Thurman for making the right move for the sake of boxing. I know he took a lot of hell for this. I know it was probably tough for him to give up that belt, but he ain't been healthy, so... There's no point in him rushing himself back um, and not being healthy and getting upset by Danny or Sean because he was ordered to fight both of them. They wasn't going to order for them both to fight each other because Danny Garcia only wanted to fight for the WBC title. Sean Porter was down for anything. He he was down to whoop Danny Garcia ass and then go whoop Sean Keith Thurman ass. So it really didn't matter. Um, but but Keith Thurman still going to get his shot and he's still going to be top dog when he come home, you know, you know, come off injury, excuse me, but... You know, I'm happy that this this came down this way. If these rumors are true, and I believe they are true, I'm seeing them all over the place. I was on the live stream with the homie Cali Enigma. Y'all go ahead and follow my boy Cali Enigma and, and Corey. I'm not sure his uh his full channel name and Trey X and the Black Horseman. Um, it was my first time being on there with them, and also Sandy Ward. And I've been on him now. Uh, bottom line, SW. I've been on you know many live streams with Fanon Boxing with him. So it was much love. I'm gonna go ahead and do this video and hop back on there with them. Um, if they still going, it's the only reason I hopped off because the fucking Google Hangouts be acting stupid like it used to like three years ago when I first started on here, kicking me off. But um, it's a major move, you know. So we get Don, Danny and Sean. I know Luis Calazo was hoping to get Danny Garcia Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend um, this year in June, but it ain't gonna happen. You know, we are gonna get the Sean Porter Danny Garcia fight. Um, if you ask me my preliminary thoughts on there, I like Danny Garcia in that fight. Um, I think Sean could be a low, and he's quick, he's agile. He's a good puncher, but with that weak jab, you know, Danny Garcia is going to be able to, you know, pick him off and um, counter Sean Porter. But I think Sean Porter got a good chance. I think this is a 50-50 fight. Um, but Danny has problems with guys that box and move side to side, come in on angles like Mauricio Herrera, or able to use their legs and, and turn a defense to offense, offense to defense, like Keith Thurman. Sean Porter just comes straight ahead and bulldoze and go wild. And I think he wants this fight. I think he wants to destroy Danny Garcia, and I think for a counterpuncher that's good at distance and timing, uh, for Danny Garcia, I think that's good. Somebody that's over-aggressive, that leaves themselves open, and Danny is able to see things in slow motion and uh, able to counter guys and hit guys in between the punches. So I think it's a good fight. I think it's a 50-50 fight. I I, I kind of, a little bit medium, I won't say heavy favorite Danny Garcia, and I have from day one. Um, that's just my opinion on that. You know, a lot of people probably won't agree. They say Sean... It's probably going to be that guy. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm picking Danny. I'm picking Danny in that fight for right now. But when I break down film, you know what I say. Anything can change. But, like I said, I want to thank y'all guys again. You know, continue to donate, subscribe, like, share, dislike, comment. And uh, we can continue, you know, going to see fights and, and going to see and doing our thing. We're going to check out Earl Spencer Carlson Campo in Dallas. I'm going to have a lot of coverage and interviews there. So we gone.